give tips to Middle Eastern people, because I travel all the time as a comic, mm -hmm. and they get stopped there for it. I give tips to Middle Eastern people. Look, if you're a Middle Eastern, even if you're Indian at this point, let's be honest, don't wear anything with Middle Eastern writing. Remember this expression, dress white, make your flight. <laughs> dress white, make your flight. Dress white, make your flight. And you don't know, if you don't know, that means two words, Banana Republic, my friends. <laughs> Khaki pants, polo shirt with a little animal like an alligator yeah. or a tiger. No camel, no camel. <laughs> You've taken smoking to an art. It's not even, there's not even words. I went to the gym. There was a guy in the treadmill like this. He's like, I feel the burn here and here. It's unbelievable. Was the executive producer of the Amman Festival held in Jordan this month. The Arab American is breaking barriers as he brings American pop culture to an Arab audience. Obidallah calls himself a comedy missionary. He joins us now from New York to tell us more about this mission. We want to show the world that Arabs and Jordanians can laugh. Because, to be honest, when's the last time on American TV you see Arabs laughing, other than playing a terrorist, he's laughing at his maniacal plans, you know, or something like that. <laughs> so we want to show people in the West that Arabs can laugh. They have a sense of humor, and they laugh at themselves, like those jokes you just showed. I'm mocking them, and they have no problem laughing at it. And that's a great thing. That's something that we don't see enough of here. Dean Obaidallah, comedy American from a Palestinian origin, ترك المحاماة ليكتب نكتا عن الأمريكيين العرب بعد أحداث الحادي عن آخرين اسمه Arabs Gun Wild أو العرب جن. لم تعد النكات عن الرئيس بوش والسياسات الأمريكية. هناك تجاوب أفضل الآن معنا. ليس بالضرورة أن يحب الأمريكيون. I will tell you, everyone in our community, when something bad happens, you know, we hold our breath and hope it's not. We're not involved. Like when the plane landed safely in January in the Hudson River, I can assure you every Arab in New York was like, please don't let Arabs be involved in this. Please don't let Arabs be involved. And they're like, well, it was geese. Like, please don't let Al Qaeda be training geese. We don't want geese of mass destruction out there. It is night in and night out. They laugh amazing. They laugh at every joke at the right place. They cheer. You want to show us around the reason? So obviously Dubai is struggling a little bit now. I hope things get better. I would feel like a year ago, it was still crazy construction. This is when I'm standing there and the guy goes, uh, excuse me, can you move? I'm like, why? Because we're putting a building here. I'm like, what kind of building? Was ocean front? I'm like, there's no ocean. Is come back next week. <laughs> I wish that a drug company in America would have come out with a medication for us, like our own Paxil or Zoloft. Like you turn on TV and say, hello, are you depressed because no one wants to fly in the same plane as you? Are you anxious because you resemble several people on the government's most wanted list? Are you angry because every time you go to the airport, you're randomly selected for extra screening? <laughs> and you need Arabagon. Coming up on an all new view. Then 9 11 happens, all of a sudden I'm an Arab. Yeah. And, and the worst thing for us is that you only know bad things. Like, I'm jealous. We don't get a month that celebrates our heritage, like Black History Month or Asian Awareness Month. You know what Arabs get? Orange Alert. <laughs> Not, not Dean, are, are you a Bush supporter? I actually am a, a fan of President Bush because... <laughs> <laughs> hear me out, fans, friends, <laughs> hear me out, hear me out. He has provided so much material for me as a comedian that uh, <laughs> he is giving. Whenever you think you run out, he does something. And it's the little things, honestly, not even about policy, little things. Like Most people say Al-Qaeda or Al-Qaeda. Listen to President Bush, not exaggerating, he now says El Qaeda. <laughs> El Qaeda has gone from a Middle East terrorist group to a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> He's like, uh, be on the lookout for the El Qaeda. <laughs> Their head chef, Jose Bin Laden, <laughs> he makes an evil chimichanga. <laughs> <laughs> and President Bush is a new thing, and I swear, if you like him or not, I'm not exaggerating, and I'll share my theory why. He has an important speech, and he gets to an important point in that speech. He literally will slow down his speech pattern speaking to us slowly, us, like we are the dumb ones. <laughs> and I'll give an example, I swear, and I'll share my theory. The other day, he goes, he goes, we've got to start developing alternative fuel sources so that we are no 
longer <laughs> dependent <laughs> on foreign oil. <laughs> and I keep thinking, why does he do that? And then it occurred to me, that's probably the way it was explained to him. <laughs>